Hello, in this video we are going to run or create a VPC with a public subnet. Uh, so again it's just a trial and error um, document video. Let's see. This is my dashboard. I already logged into it. So I'm going to click on all services. I'm trying to find VPC. Somewhere. There are a lot of services. Right now the reinvent is going on and if you're watching it or not they are uh, like rolling out ton of new services so all of these services you can see they just roll out and then it, it looks a lot but most of the time they work together so there is a VPC right there so that's how you know uh, they are there are different ways to go in and it's like hand on gloves they come together and do things for you so let's click on VPC and let's create a launch vpc wizard we can go about two ways we can launch a wizard or we can click over here you can see that it's giving me all regions if you're not sure about what regions are regions are that where you want your uh, vpc stands for virtual private compute so where do you want your computer to be so technically if you were for example uh, my region is ohio i'm in ohio so if uh, i'm in ohio on prem all of my equipment is going to be in ohio but with the, the beauty of cloud is i can physically be in ohio and i can have my uh this compute or you know whatever the infrastructure i want to it can be in japan or it can be in you know middle east it can be in europe it can be in russia or Australia anywhere where, where I want it uh, the regions uh, how they come into play they come into play with the latency if you don't know what latency is that it's the time that it takes for you to hit enter to get somebody something like a web page you're trying to visit and that web page is being hosted it's all the way in Australia and you see that how far if uh, the distance wise that you're grabbing that data but if that company that you're trying to access in Australia their local website if they had uh, their like web, web server or whatever like hosting their website a part of like a copy of their website that in United States the distance is just much smaller and I can get that web page much faster so that's why the all these regions are so if I click here you can see all of the regions that they have your Asia Pacific US so pretty good so let's go and click on VPC and there is a we can create one there is already one I don't know it's I believe it's uh, automatic like uh, uh, default one so we're gonna create a VPC we can name tag we can it's an optional it says optional but it's always good to name it so I'm gonna make it I dash vpc and i'm gonna give it the side of okay 10 10 uh, working at amazon i know that uh, amazon really loves 10 uh, range i'm gonna go with 10 dot 10 dot 0 dot 0 slash 16 and i am actually copying it exactly from the video where i learned all this so um, <clears throat> So V6 cider block, it's a, uh, oh, there is an Amazon provided one as well. So you can define it yourself. If you are really good at networking, you can have Amazon provided for you, or you can leave it just IPv4. So this 16 means that the first two octets, eight and eight, they are frozen, and you are to work with these. And later down the road, you can further subnetting it like you can like we do at work so you have to uh, don't you don't have to worry about it really you can use any private uh, numbers here like uh, I'm using the range 10 because I'm so used to work with it uh, there is uh, another private range is 172 so whatever you like uh, tenancy we what's tenancy
okay so that's like it, it will be single resource single system uh, we can add tags tags are great if you were to find them for example if you had dozens of um, like let's say hundreds of them uh, these subnets and v VPC and all that so it's easier you had you have your, your work for enterprise and you have multiple location in multiple regions so this will help you then but if for learning purposes not really even if you have dozen you would know wh which one are for which by just by looking at name but if they are like in hundreds of them and page after page you want to scroll or you can just add tags and make your life much easier so at this point side of block info I believe we can create let's see so let's go and click it I want to see what happens if I dedicate it nothing so I'm gonna leave it here and let's click on create VPC and see what happens you successfully created VPC and that's the name of it and it's it stayed avail available DNS is uh, disable for now you have to use route 53 for that uh, route 53 is Amazon um, DNS server uh, serviced in AWS and so that's the v4 cider and that's what we did there like we added and let's see create flow log Cider. We can go and change it, remove it, add new. If we were to add new, we just have to put here, add it, and then we, we will have the option to remove it. So we're going to just click here and close. And we have our VPC, IVPC that I just created right here. So the other way going about it is we saw it was a wizard so I'm gonna click on your VPC again uh, no here uh, internet gateways egress DHCP last again point blah 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 VPC dashboard there launch VPC wizard so let's see we go with go about this uh, this is the wizard and we have a Oh, there's more options. So actually, this looks better. So over here, you can see if uh, at this with this side of block, uh, I have sixty-five thousand more than sixty-five thousand uh, IP addresses available. If I were to use this, it's still the same. The reason it's still the same is that. Uh, this 16 bit whatever you put here doesn't matter because the first 20 uh, 16s are frozen so based on these two availability we have these many ip addresses available so if we were to make changes here like for example we really use 10 dot uh, i don't want to say what we use at work so you see at this the third three octets uh, they are frozen only last one is available and if you know that the last one uh, there are um, 255 addresses and some of them are reserved so you are ending up with only 251 available IP addresses so availability zone and we, we have all the zones here so since I'm in here that's why I have only these available and I can put in anywhere no preferences if I select no preferences it's gonna create my VPC in either one of them if I were to go and choose specifically it will create it there for our purpose let's go with a I'm gonna have public subnet so we can do it what we can do is I dash VPC dash public subnet and what's the endpoint no I'm not gonna mess with it at this time 
DNS host name, yes, on hardware tenancy, again, it's dedicated or default. So tenancy is that, uh, again, that uh, you have a single dedicated resource. And if you don't want that, you don't have to worry about that. So let's do it this here. If I put it here, zero, oh no, one. I was going to show you that if I put 16 here, I get the same. Oh, I just uh, sorry. Um, my bad. The reason is that it has to be inside this one, and I changed that, so that's why. But you get the picture. Based on this, you get you are you are gonna get. So what we are doing is in this side of block, you are getting this public subnet. So in that's in a block that uh, IP addresses that you have in that VPC that you, we are creating this one, we are gonna have a subnet of that whole IP ranges uh, are like out of these we're gonna have a block of this and this is what we're gonna use and the idea behind it is that uh, it will be like um, like um, how, how box or a room and or a, you know a network that all the devices in there they are connected and they are gonna get those IP addresses so it's to group them if you were so let's create a VPC and see what happens there you go we I so using the wizard that had a little bit more option I've created another uh, VPC so click OK and actually same what happened is this the same uh, no okay that just popped up and since I forgot to name it that, that it's uh, not so what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go ahead do it and add it in and uh, there's an option for edit name can I do that edit name right there I dot VPC slash wizard so now we know that we created through the wizard and they have the exact cider block the so the difference is over here so that's how you create a virtual private uh, compute and we created a subnet in it so it's uh, basically it's uh, if you were to imagine it's box within a box so now we have a big box that is the VPC this big box and it has like over 65,000 IP addresses that can be used and you know that IP addresses are for devices or computers or anything that uh, those the uh, like uh, servers whatever that they, they need that address to communicate to each other within that big box of VPC we created a smaller box that's the subnet and in that subnet we can run a computer an EC2 instance and I don't know where I saw it said somewhere that launch right right there e e EC2 instance so that's next and that's for the next video